I started teaching middle school nine years ago, and my classroom was always set up in rows. Like, it was militant style, rows, rows, rows. Um, and I was the, the sage on the stage, like most people teach. But after teaching middle school and the, the, the types of kids that I had, um, I know I needed to change my teaching style and the way I was delivering it. Well, Miss McDonald is absolutely an amazing teacher. Her scores with her students are like the highest in the county. And Bavard County has high scores to start with. So when you talk about Miss McDonald's scores being high, you're talking about an amazing job that's taking place in this classroom. I teach the lower level kids, the ones that math is not their strongest. They don't like it. Somewhere along the line, someone has told them that they're not good at math or they believe it. Um, it's really difficult and hard for them to work on it. I do a lot of discovery lessons where you give the kids the problem and they have to figure out how did they get the answer. So the kids have more buy-in to it. They are understanding the vocabulary more and the teacher is just facilitating the conversation with the kids. At the awards dinner for that, I was sitting with my husband, and we're sitting there, and people are chatting, we're talking, and we're eating our salad, and no one's talking. So I looked around, and I was like, how many more awards do I have to win to get furniture for my classroom? And that's where it all started, the ball rolling. So when I called her, and I was like, hey, Cindy, can you come, and we can look at what you have to offer? and. She was like, sure. It was within a day or two she was in my classroom. I told her what my goals were, to have a big table for the kids to work at and chairs for the kids to sit in. And she just worked with that. The proposal was sent to um, my administration and the county. And they said, yep, get it ordered. And when they came back and told me, I was like, you you're kidding me, right? Like, we're really doing this? I'm getting new furniture? When the FSA started, um, my scores were 51% of my kids passed um, with a level three or higher. And I'm not sure what the district level was on that one. But last year, after getting the new furniture, more collaboration with the kids, my scores were 84% of my students passed the FSA, where the district average was 48%. So going from 51% to 84%, um, I attribute it to being able to work more collaboratively I mean, they worked with their partner every day. They had someone to bounce ideas off of. The kids know that if they're struggling, they have their buddy, or they have 22 other kids in the classroom they can ask help from. But they can't leave or shouldn't leave the classroom not knowing how to do something because there's so many of us that can help one another. You know, when I would walk in and I would see students, they were very attentive, very focused and the kind of learning process that was taking place, uh, she was allowed to engage them in cooperative learning because of the way uh, the students are, are seated in here so that they're able to help each other, encourage each other, and a lot of times, you know, when a teacher says something, the students sometimes get it, but when another student sitting beside them is able to explain, well, you know, here's what she meant, you know, here's how we work it out, and when they're able to share with one another and help one another, that learning level just increases an incredible amount. The same kind of student engagement that takes place here uh, very easily can take place in language arts, math, science, social studies. So any class that they're working on any assignment in is done better whenever there's some cooperative learning taking place. I just want them to know that someone is cheering for them to be successful. I said, don't worry about anything else other than we're going to be successful in, in math class. I got this. We are going to be successful in this class. 